dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the day of the Passion of John the Baptist, the beheading of John the Baptist by the King Herod. As we remember the Passion of John the Baptist, our readings today remind us of what we are called to do in the vineyard of the Lord. In our first reading, we hear God commanding Jeremiah to go and preach. And in so doing, Jeremiah is told that he shouldn't be afraid, for God will be with him. He is assured that God will deliver you, and God will speak on his behalf. With these words, Jeremiah is being told by God that each and every time you go out to preach, you will definitely come across challenges, difficulties that will make his life as a preacher, as a prophet, very difficult. And in our gospel passage, we hear the story of John the Baptist being executed because he had pointed out the adultery that was committed by Herod, who took his own brother's wife as his own. This was unbecoming and wrong. And it was not expected of a leader like Herod. In pointing out this sin, John the Baptist became an enemy, an enemy of the king's palace. Thus, he was executed for pointing out the sin that was being committed by Herod. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, these two characters we encounter today, Jeremiah and John the Baptist, allowed themselves to be mouthpieces of God. They allowed themselves to preach against that which God regarded as wrong and to be condemned. These two characters, Jeremiah and John the Baptist, stand before us as examples of what we are called to do. Dear friends, as baptized Christians, we are all called to be prophets, mouthpieces of God. We are all called to speak the truth. We are all called to stand for the truth. And we are all called to live our lives guided by the truth and truth alone. Are we prepared to live by the truth, to stand for the truth, to speak the truth? Every baptized Christian is called to live by the truth. 
Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we hear so many voices telling us of how we are supposed to live our Christian life, our Christian values, but we tend to be silenced by certain voices. Look at the person of Jeremiah, at the person of John the Baptist. Even at the point of being silenced, they kept on telling the truth as it is. This is what we are called to do. Unfortunately, as we live by the truth, as we speak the truth, there are certain characters probably amongst ourselves as Christians who choose not to live by the truth. Who choose not to obey the truth as it is. They tend to show a blind eye for reasons known to them. Today as we celebrate the passion of John the Baptist, let us pray for ourselves that we may live guided by the truth. That we may not close our ears to the truth that makes noise around us. May we be people of truth. May we be people.